Every time there is a financial crisis, there are financial perpetrators who cause it. These perpetrators of the financial pillage who push the world into a global financial crisis are always saved, along with their teetering institutions. But somebody, somebody always has to pay the piper. In 2011, the Bank of England Governor Marvin King said in a quote, the price of this financial crisis is being borne by the people who absolutely did not cause it. In 2011, to fight the global financial crisis aftermath triggered by the Wall Street maniacs, the British government unveiled the largest cut to public spending since World War II in a bid to bring its huge debt burden under control. There were 81 billion pounds in spending cuts through 2015, and taxes were increased to wipe out a spending deficit of 109 billion pounds. As many as 500,000 public sector jobs were lost, about 18 billion pounds cut from welfare payments, and the pension age was raised to 66 by 2020. Similar story was repeated in Greece, Spain, Portugal, and Ireland. They were famously called the pigs countries due to their high debt and poor financial performance. When the 1% ends up losing your money in financial gamble, the 99% has to step up and foot the bill of their gamble. Same is the situation the world is being pushed into.